Hi, Bold Bakers. It is almost Valentine's Day. So as always, I invite my husband, Kevin, the one time a year to come into the kitchen and bake with me. The one time. Well, hopefully <laughs> more than that. But the thing I'm excited about this year, Gemma, is this is our first time baking in our new kitchen. Yep. So we've got the extra room. We do. You know, we've got room to work. And what I thought we would do is I have a recipe for pancakes for two, which oh, yeah. I thought would be perfect for Valentine's Day. But Kevin wanted to kind of kick that up a notch. Tell them what you want to do. Well, that's right, Jen. So your pancake recipe is amazing. But with pancakes, oftentimes it's about what you add to it, what you put on top. Yeah, that's true. And so I figured we would test our knowledge of each other and make um, what we think the other person's favorite flavor combination would be. So what we're going to do is customize them for each other. That's right. I mean, we've been married for almost 10 years. I think we know a lot about each other. So here's the challenge. Do we really know what our favorite pancakes would be for the other? Yeah, I think so. I'm done with that. Okay, so we're going to start out by making the batter together and I'll go get the ingredients. Great, let's do it. So funny enough, one thing that we just talked about recently is that we have different styles the way that we read and actually do a recipe. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So. Uh, even the whole gathering of the ingredients, I don't usually do that. I actually, I follow each instruction one by one, but I tend to go off on like a hunt and gather mission for each versus getting everything together. But then what happens if you don't have like raising agent or sugar or something? Well, I, I sometimes run into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kevin, what I'm going to do is um, I'll measure out the ingredients and you can mix up the batter. Okay, sounds great. And remember, the recipe is on biggerbolderbaking.com. You can find it right there. And you can print it off from there. That's right. I'm kind of old school, so I really like to print off recipes. Yeah. Well, it's also, it's helpful to make notes sometimes, I know. Okay, so we have some flour. Now, this is just a batch enough for two people, so we only have one cup of flour. It's like the perfect amount. You get like these lovely, like four pancakes each. Oh, that's, so Gem, that was one question I was gonna ask is, so it's four each? Yeah, four little ones, so you get okay. a stack. You could do two big ones, but then you don't get the, like, the, the drama of the stack. That's right, you, yeah, you, you want need the drama. that stack. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a little bit of baking soda in here to react with our buttermilk. A little bit of sugar. You don't need a huge amount of sugar because you always put like maple syrup and like, you well, know, nice things. We'll see what we put on Well, we'll on see what we put one, on right? them, yeah. yeah. And then a little bit of salt. Kevin, could you give that a mixy mix together, please? You got it, you got it. So I made one mistake with another of your pancake recipes, the no flour pancake. Uh, I actually put baking powder instead of baking soda in oh, that recipe. Yeah. And uh, I didn't try them, but George did, and the look on his face. But you made the baby try them and you didn't try them. <laughs> I know, I hadn't tried them yet. I made it again and they were awesome because I figured out what the problem was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And he loved them. They're not in, like those are, they're, they're both raising agents, yes. They're not interchangeable. No. No. This is why we write on the lids. Yes. To say what they are. Right. Okay. And this right. is why we read our recipe from top to, okay, we'll get into that later. Right. Here's our buttermilk. A um, little bit of buttermilk in here. Buttermilk, yeah, because these are buttermilk pancakes and it makes them like really soft and delicious. And then we're going to add in a little bit of vanilla extract for flavor. Always need that. Yep. Crack in an egg. Could you mind putting that in the bin, please? You got it. Thank you. And a little bit of melted butter. And if you wouldn't mind whisking this together. You got it. So you may have been able to notice that actually two of those ingredients were homemade, right? The yeah. buttermilk and the vanilla extract. Yeah. Do you have recipes for? If you don't have uh, buttermilk, you can make it yourself. It's really easy. It's okie dokie, we have everything we need, wet, dry. Kevin, if you wouldn't mind, uh, with the whisk there. You got it. Just whisking this together until it just comes to a batter. Some lumps are okay. Well, can I give your special pancake tip? You can. So in one of your original recipes, yeah. you had mentioned you're supposed to stir enough times to spell out pancake. Mm -hmm. Is that still Yeah, work it's like here? seven times. It does, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You really want to under, like don't over mix a pancake batter. Leave the lumps in there because when you get those really thin, thick, fluffy pancakes. It's when the batter was literally like just combined. So while you're mixing that, I'm gonna tell a little story. When I had my catering business in San Francisco, 10 plus years ago, when we just had started dating 11 years ago, That's right. I used to make a lot of pancakes for my business. And one time um, 
Kevin was over and I was testing a recipe for cinnamon roll pancakes. So this is before they became a huge thing online. And um, I have pictures of, uh, maybe we'll show them, of Kevin and I making the pancakes. But um, it was definitely a, a, a younger looking Gemma and Kevin. <laughs> but it was a long time ago. But yeah, we've been making pancakes for a very long time. It was, and that was an amazing recipe, yeah, which well. funny enough, was a pre-Bigger Boulder Baking video that we actually made. Yeah, it was, you're right. Some of you have discovered it. Yeah, don't go looking for it. Um, so there, I think that's it, our pancakes. That looks good, Kevin. There's a few lumps in there. You can stop mixing now. Now um, we should get stuck into the recipe. So what is this? Is this like a, is it a challenge? Is it a bake-off? It's love, a challenge. I love a good bake-off. It's a challenge, but the good news is, is hopefully it's delicious results, no matter who wins or loses. That's true, but there is a winner. Yeah, as long as we know, you know, what our favorite things uh, would be. Yeah, I think I, I have some ideas. Um, there's a few things like stuck away in our cupboards that I think I can pull out for this special occasion. <laughs> See, I can't even think what's in there right now, so I'm excited to explore it. Well, you better go in and have a look. <laughs> you give me a head start. Um, you cook off your pancakes first, I'm gonna piece out, and then I'll come back in and make mine. Let's do it. So I really haven't thought about this in advance as far as I, I'm gonna explore. I wanna you know, figure out kind of the right sort of combination, come up with an idea. Way to be inspired here. Whoa. Gemma loves Oreos. Gemma does love Oreo. That's, a, that's an interesting one. Let me see. Giant Nutella. She's not quite the Nutella person here. It might be a little little simpler than I was originally thinking, but here's what we're gonna do. Gemma toasted some pecans for a cheesecake recipe. I'm just looking for my nuts. <laughs> They're a little, I had pecans chopped. I keep them for salads. I've got an idea now. I think I'm gonna get the right combination of the things that she would love and not even think about for breakfast. And I even have a name for it, boozy breakfast. Okay, so I just need one very important thing in here. Syrup. And not just any syrup. Vermont pure maple syrup. Now, let's go to the other room and let's get one more thing. So in order to make these boozy breakfast pancakes, of course I need some booze. So I have some bourbon here. Bourbon isn't her favorite drink, but she does have a maple pecan butter sauce that has a bit of bourbon added to it as well. So I think that's what I'm gonna make. What do you think he's gonna make for you? I think Kevin is going to really kind of push the envelope here and get like really creative because it's a challenge and he's going to try and like really wow me. What I would be hoping for is like banana pancakes with blueberries on top because that's like my favorite combination. But I have a feeling I'm gonna get something very different. I'm sure it's gonna taste good, but it's definitely, I think, gonna be out there. I have a small saucepan here and I'm gonna turn it on to a medium low heat. So first I'm gonna add the syrup and now the bourbon. And then just heat it up uh, for a couple minutes here. You're just looking to heat up the sauce so you don't want it to boil. All right, now we're gonna cook off the pancakes. So another good tip from Gemma is just use a quarter cup measure uh, here to spoon out each of the pancakes. It should give you eight pancakes from this batter. So we're gonna spoon out four of them. You really wanna to try to make these round. So just space them out, give them the room. They need to breathe and just keep spooning them out and they should end up about the same size. So the best thing is, is if I made these too small, uh, the ones Gemma makes for me will be extra big. Okay, so we're just gonna let these cook for a couple minutes here. We're looking for the telltale sign of bubbles on top of the pancakes, which tells you that they're ready to be flipped. How do you think you're doing? You think uh, this is what Gemma wants? I really do. I kept it simple, but added that packed of uh, boozy flavor that I think she'll love. So after thinking about it, I should add some pecans to the syrup too, so they get heated up as well. I think Gemma will love that. Now just add in some butter and uh, let that heat through. So I let these cook just for a few more minutes and I think they are perfect. Look at those big, fluffy pancakes. All right, so I wanted to make Gemma's boozy breakfast pancakes really simple, but I may have made them too simple. So 
I'm gonna actually grate on a little bit of dark chocolate here because chocolate and bourbon go really well together and I think the nuts will add an extra kick as well. So I'm just gonna grate a little bit of chocolate on top first, then add on our sauce. And then of course, we need a big old scoop of whipped cream here and then a little bit more grated chocolate on top. I really think these capture what Gemma would like in her pancakes, so I hope she likes them. But most of all, I'm excited to see what she makes me. So I was racking my brain trying to think of what to make for Kevin, and then I thought of something. Something that's a little bit extra, but still has like all the flavors that he loves. Like he loves, he loves like things on top and texture and uh, like, you know, color and everything. So what I'm going to make for him is actually banana split pancakes. So I'm gonna grab some cherries, some sprinkles on top of these pancakes. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but bear with me. Then I need some sauces from the fridge. Luckily, I always have sauce in my fridge for ice cream emergencies. Chocolate sauce right here. And then in this random bowl, I have a little bit of strawberry syrup because you have to have like chocolate and strawberry syrup on a banana split. So that's what we're having also. And I think I might grab a carton of cream. I'm just gonna get my banana. I think that's it. Just kidding, I found some toasted hazelnuts in the cupboard, so I'm gonna sprinkle those on top. So we're gonna cook off our pancake batter and I'm just realizing <laughs> that he left me hardly any batter. I have enough for like two, maybe three small pancakes. But anyway, um, we'll get going. What do you think Gemma's gonna make for you? So I think Gemma is gonna go the healthier route. So right beside here, I'm going to add on a little bit of butter. I think she'll probably add fruit. Maybe she'll add nuts, something like that on top because she knows that I like to have a good healthy breakfast. A Little bit of sugar. And then I'm going to add thick slices of banana and I'm just going to fry these off until they're golden brown. What do you hope she makes for you? I hope she takes Nutella and slathers it all over bananas and also pour syrup or something like that on top because, you know, if you're gonna go big, go big. I can tell by the top of these pancakes that it's time to flip them over. Look how gorgeous and golden brown they are. And they're getting lovely and thick. This is why I love this batter so much. I was a little bit sad that I only had three pancakes, but the thing about it is, if Kevin used the majority of the batter, that means I'm getting more pancakes. So it's kind of a win-win situation. These bananas are looking great. I might start flipping them over. How confident are you right now that he'll like this? I am, I'm confident because, so he, he likes a lot of different flavor profiles, not just banana split that like he absolutely adores, but what he loves is like different textures. So the like roasted bananas that are like fried on the grill. Um, I'm gonna put some whipped cream on top, the different sauces, like the rich and then the kind of fruity, and then like texture of like chopped nuts on top. Like I have a feeling that's what's going to like appeal to him is just like the different dimensions of like flavors and textures. So I'm pretty confident. So my bananas are lovely and caramelized, but what I'm gonna do is layer them in between the pancakes so you get that really nice texture. So now this is all about presentation. I'm gonna to top these pancakes with some whipped cream, chocolate sauce, strawberry sauce, sprinkles, a few chopped nuts, and of course, a cherry on top. There's no way he's not going to like this. At least I hope not. So here we are, the moment of truth. I have to say there was no peeking whatsoever. Not at all. I have no idea what is under this bowl. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, I'm nervous and actually excited. Me too, on both yeah. of those things. <laughs> yeah, but Gemma, actually, I have to say, I think I, I did better than I thought I would. Oh, really? I did. That's great. I mean, I'm, I'm glad, because I mean, I'm going to be eating it. That's, you'll be the judge. Yeah, but. yeah. I'm good. I have to say, I'm pretty confident um, with, with my stack. Okay. So, okay, uh, so we'll see. Should we, we reveal? Yeah, we're going to do it on three. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! Whoa! Oh man! So is this? <laughs> That's a... where the pecans were. I was looking for pecans. <laughs> is that? I know. I know. Zach mentioned. <laughs> Zach mentioned. Yeah. I figured if I had them out, you would know that I had used them. No, I didn't see them. Some of them are gone. But you may not know exactly what uh, what what is going on with mine. Okay. Let, me, let me try to guess. So with mine, yeah. it's uh, banana split. Yes! 
It's a banana split. Yeah. I love look, it. There's, there's caramelized bananas in the middle of between the pancakes. Do you know, and there's sauces and everything. Do you know what would have really freaked me out though? What? In a good way? No, actually, it would have been. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. I knew top. it. I knew it. Didn't I tell you? I told you. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ice cream on top. I'm not going to. I'm not going to dwell okay. on that. Okay. So the thing is, is I'm not going to describe my pancakes yet. Okay. I want you to taste it and then you tell me. Okay. Okay. Oh, it. now I'm worried that I'm not going to get it right. My own. My own recipe. Wait a second now. Okay. So it's, is it a? Is it, okay. I'll, I'll get there. You'll. You'll see. You'll see. It's a daisy. Can you taste it? Yep. <laughs> so I call this Gemma's Boozy Breakfast Pancakes. I was literally- What do you think? I was about to say Boozy <laughs> Pancakes. Oh man. These are, this is a banana split for breakfast. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, this that's is pretty. Good. That's pretty amazing. Actually, I Gemma, I think that's a new, a totally new, new breakfast thing. pancake. Because <laughs> you can make banana pancakes yeah. and add those on top. The funny thing is though, Jem, is uh, I thought you were gonna make me something super healthy. I figured you were gonna go like healthy, no, healthy breakfast. No, I went dessert. Now. No, you thought that? You sure, you sure no. did go dessert. Yeah. I wanna see you recreate these as well. I think that would be, yeah, be yeah. pretty fun. Maybe come up with your own. Yeah, the, the pancake for two challenge. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Well, Jem, this was a whole lot of fun. I always love baking with you. Oh, I just got some hazelnuts. That's so good. Yeah, well, they would have been pecans if you hadn't taken them. <laughs> I know, I know. Make sure to get the recipe on biggerbolterbaking.com. We'll include some of these ideas here and um, let us know what you make. Yeah, and maybe if uh, you guys like this video, Kevin can come back again next year. Hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Let's do it. Happy Valentine's soon. Day, Jim. Happy Valentine's Day. Enjoy.